Hi, welcome back to Pia Tech Talk. In this episode, we're going to take a look on the STM32U0 and uh, we're going to take a look on the current measurement and uh, we're also going to take a look into the ST-Link V3 power to make current measurements on different uh, low power modes. So if this uh, sounds interesting, tag along! So here I have started a STM32 cube programmer and the reason for this is that uh, the firmware I'm going to use is not yet released and uh, I'm not sure if I am allowed to uh, share it yet but it will be launched in the coming video or in the coming releases of STM32 cube IDE. Uh, but in this case I had a binary file and uh, that is going to be programmed in the microcontroller using the STM32 cube programmer. So if you haven't used that software yet, this is also a tutorial how to do that. So here we have launched the STM32 Cube IDE programmer. And that is a standalone tool that uh, gives you the possibility to program binary files into the microcontroller without having an IDE. And I have it up here now and we start by opening file and um, it asks for which directory. So we go to where we have where we have our binary and we have it here. So I load it there and we also need to take into the consideration which ST-Link we have. So we need to go under ST-Link and uh, in my case I actually have two ST-Links. So I have the nuclear board and I also have the STV free power which also includes a board uh, a debugger. So I need to know which one I'm going to use in this case. And I'm going to use the Nucleo board, since I'm going to program the binary files into the microcontroller. So I select that one and I just hit connect. And then we hit download. And we can see the file download complete. And that is done. So that is how we program uh, it into this tool. And now we don't need this tool any longer, so we can use disconnect. And we can just terminate the program. To do this demo we need two new software and that is the STM32 Cube Monitor Power which you download free of charge on the ST website and the other one is any term or program of your choice. I use TerraTerm in this case. So if we start with the STM32 Cube Monitor Power we can see now that we can select the board and we have a COM port that it finds and we can take control over that COM port. So that COM port goes to the ST-Link V3 power, uh, this board that I'm showing here. And this power board then gives us the possibility to connect to our microcontroller. And we also need a serial port, and that serial port is used for the nuclear board. And that is mainly to set which current mode that we are making current measurement on. So we need to find the suitable uh, serial port there, and I will just take a guess. Uh, it's, it was not that one, so we make a new try. The serial ports will vary for, for your microcontroller as well. Could it be COM8 maybe? And we also need to set the board rate correct. This might be correct. So if we hit reset on the, the uh, nuclear board, we can see that we get this menu. And this menu is only, as I said, to set the, the desired uh, low power mode for your measurement. And uh, so we have here different power modes. And uh, if we, for instance, take a look on what should we have? A run mode if we start with the, the highest current mode and that is the run mode. And uh, we can then also do something else. We can, uh, in this tool here, we can put uh, the acquisition time into infinity. And we could also put the output power to the microcontroller. And we need to make some changes on the nuclear board, and I will, chain, I will show you the changes here. So, if we take the board, we have a jumper called uh, IDGP5. 
So we release this button or this uh, uh, and we'll take the VDD out of the out pin from this debugger and we'll put that on the left pin there. And there is one more jumper that I have seen have been disabled in some application and that is this jumper there. So now the microcontroller is taking its power fully from the ST-Link V3 debugger. And as you, we can see here now, we, the out is not turned on. And if we go to the cube monitor, uh, we set the output voltage on 1.8 volt. And if I now hit power on, we can see that the green LED for on is lit and we have now 1.8 volt sourcing the microcontroller there and it also measure the current that is sourced to the microcontroller so that is how it's working so we can start acquisition and we can see here then that we are up in 1.6 uh, milliamp and we can also use this button here uh, named show a report and it shows two things. It shows full, and that is everything from the zero until the end, what you see, uh, or full, what is the, in, in the scope here. And if we have just selected a time frame, you can do like this. If I'm just interested in this portion, that is the selected time frame. So that is how it works. And you can then start acquisition again and we can see it's up here and we can then for instance uh, go to the terminal program and hit 13 and now we see that there is something happening now uh, the current uh, increased and that is for we have it in 48 megahertz so we run it in, at full uh, speed so we have it now on 3.7 milliamps and uh, we can then reset the target and restart the acquisition and now we can see again if we make like uh, the current mode 8 for instance low power 2 megahertz with a flash on off uh, we hit 8 so now it says your system low power configuration is now as follows uh, in its power mode, low power sleep, 2 MHz flash on. So if we stop acquisition here and we reset target again, if we for instance go to a lower power mode, 4 in this case, so 4 is stop 2. So if we start acquisition and we hit 4, now we can see it really went down and it for the eye, naked eye looks like it's 0, but it's not. It's not zero. So if we stop acquisition here, we can see that the current here is uh, roughly uh, eight microamps, 0 0.8, 0 0.8 microamps uh, or 800 nanoamps. And we start the acquisition. So if we, for instance, would like to see the power mode standby plus RTC, that is the run mode two. So if we take run mode two, we can see again it went down very low, but we need to then, before we make the measurement, remove the serial connection because it haven't any attachment to this any longer anyhow. Uh, now we can see if we stop it like here, we can see the current base is on 240 nanoamps and the speaks are up on 35 nanoamps. But if we make, for instance, a selection here, make an average on this one, we can see that we have in average uh, 250 nanoamps. So that is how you do. And if you wouldn't remove that USB connector, and we make it again, we can just put stop this acquisition and we now um, run the same again zero two we can see it went down 
But now we have the USB connector on and we will see that is distorting the power consumption here. So now we are down to uh, 360 nanoamps. So there is some current running through the USB connector. So remove that when you're going to the very low power consumption. And just for making fun, I'll take a look in the lowest power consumption mode. And so now we are back again and we hit the uh, current mode zero. And that is the shutdown and it should be very low power in this, uh, in this case. So we can uh, remove the USB connector and now we can see the difference. This is when the USB connector was connected. And this is when I disconnected it, the USB connector. So if we now take a measurement here, we can see that we are down to, what is it? 110, very little current. <laughs> uh, and uh, when it comes down to this lower current, you need to take a bit of a grain of salt, as we say in Sweden. <coughs> The, the tool that I'm using is uh, cost uh, 100 euros. If you really like uh, to have high accuracy, then you need perhaps uh, even a higher cost tool. But it gives you a hint on, on the current what is uh, pulling there. So I hope that you th uh, found this interesting with the STM32U0. And uh, this is then made for you so that you can make an estimate on uh, the parent, current consumption that is possible to get from this microcontroller. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please su subscribe. Uh, it's like 90% that are viewing my videos that haven't subscribed. It's free of cost and I really appreciate it. And if you have any thoughts, and, uh, put it in the, in the comment below. See you soon. Cheers. Bye.